What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And to pick up where we left off, we attacked the city of Tangier. We have knocked Morocco out of the game and they do not like it. Um, so we really need to get some money next turn to help rebuild our institutions because we are very, 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 very likely to have a uh, enemy rebellion. But apart from that, our incomes, I said it's only 3,000, so it's not huge. We do need to do some expansion, uh, particularly in the, in Europe, no, in in the uh, in the uh, Caribbean, especially as the pirate territories and the British territories look mighty tempting. But first of all, we do need to guarantee security at home, and potentially the invasion of Britain. That might be a good idea because right now we're not at war with many great powers, so it would be useful to uh, attack Britain. And knock them out and uh, that would give us a very 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 strong financial base and it would mean that we've knocked out a, a key enemy it would make the Caribbean more susceptible to being invaded by our troops but first of all we need to secure Morocco We need to secure Morocco and get them on our side. Because right now, they are not happy with us. And we are still at perpetual risk of the uh, <laughs> any blockade to our trade ports being fatal. So let's rebuild Pasha's Palace, rebuild the School of Poetry. This will probably send a letter of... Workers on strike in Morocco. Trade raided. Obviously, we've got a new farm in Spain. Is it worth trying to squeeze a church school in? We may as well. We've got the cash. Let's spend a little bit more on doing whatever. Actually, it might be better. Actually, it's only 500. That's not much replenishment at all. Hopefully, we should start to see some religious unrest ticking in as well. I'm hoping. The repairs of the government building will help. Obviously, some Augustine, you guys just. Can you replenish anyone for that money? After fighting away Kevin McDowell? Yeah, we really don't have much of a busy schedule <laughs> when it comes to. Uh, when it comes to doing things, the Spanish Empire, because we are very limited. I do want to see a strong France. Unfortunately, we've got that for now. If France starts getting attacked, then starts getting like uh, they start losing Amsterdam and Brussels, then then we're in danger uh, because we we are not going to have the armies needed to defend us from the north, as well as trying to mount some sort of offensive campaign. That's going to be quite tricky. But for now, as long as we can slowly rebuild Morocco, we can slowly build up that force in Florida to go attack the British and then maybe sail to go and secure more um, secure more lands for trade. I think right now what's a big blocker is we need to upgrade our port to get more trade routes because we're a good Catholic region, so we should be trading a lot more than we actually are. Fortunately, the Barbary States have just lost a bunch of ships. The pirates are still being the pirates. Social contract. Okay, don't bother going for that. Go for division of labour. Seville. Which is being upgraded to a college. Salamanca is upgraded. So you can go to military syllabus, by drill school, get a fire by rank. See, Tangiers is still unhappy. So let's spend whatever cash we can to keep replenishing. Down to two, down to minus two, but that's not going to be enough. But what it is going to mean is that when they rebel, the army they, that they generate is only going to get support once. corlin has been destroyed by the Russians, it looks like. No, the Prussians. Workers riot in Morocco and they damage the barracks. 
Understandable. But there's not a lot we can do about that apart from keep replenishing. Could replenish anyone here for 39 gold. Colonial Lion. But yes, we want to take out the Brits. We need to keep some sort of garrison here, but we do need to keep on the offensive and take out some of these delicious British colonies. But it's limited, it's difficult to do that on such small amounts of cash per turn. So that's why the physiocracy techs are so important. Especially the ones that allow us to boost our trade capacity, because we can't really trade at any great strength, because we haven't got the infrastructure to do it. And trade is not good for late game, because it's. Well, trade is dangerous to depend on. But that's why it's nice to have Morocco, Lisbon and Madrid together because they're, you know, combined they're quite a nice little solid tax base to have. But we need to take Madrid, uh, secure Morocco, build a small garrison in the case of the Barbary States, decide to do anything annoying and then launch them against Dublin. Secure good Catholic ground to base our invasion of the mainland. Hope and just watch the Barbary States keep getting their ships destroyed, attacking uh, northern Italian states. No! Nuts! That's not good at all. 1500? Yeah, it's not, not terrible. We can't upgrade our drill school for that money. But we can upgrade. The vineyard. So there's the Moroccan rebels. I mean, that's a bunch of galleys, to be honest. That's why we've got... That's why we do have ships to try and actually do something about that. Yeah, I might just bring the galley into our service. Let's bring the brig in as well. To be honest, and the sloop. It's not much of an armada. But it's... I'll take it. I might even send the fifth rate to Oran to raid it. To cancel whatever. Or do I keep... I might even keep them there. Travis, if I move the army out now to engage the rebels... I mean, right now they get no support. They don't get any support, which is pretty good. Can I even tax you now? No, bad idea. So severely built there. Again, it was a shame we can't get the drill school yet. Instead, let's go for sextant or maybe flintlock cannon. That's quite a good one to get. Or don't have any any industrial techs. Okay, basic steam pump. So I do have a couple of mines that would benefit from that. Let's upgrade the winery. Okay, so you're growing at 33 a turn. Bilbao is going to grow to the north, so that will expand our ability to trade. This has been a rebellion in Morocco, but I want one more turn of replenishment, and I can send. Actually, could I put together a detachment to attack them now? I probably could. It's only just militia. So if I took my strongest, well, it depends how it affects mor morale, yeah. Keep them inside the city, they'll do some raiding, but I need to keep my army together and force the resistance to occupation down first. Get some Spanish bandits to act as a bit of a garrison. You guys are repairing. Okay, let's hit end turn. Britain's preparing an army to attack me in the in the Americas, and there's nothing I can do about it. But at least with the Barbary states of, uh, they're at war with me. I could. It gives me the legitimacy to march troops across North Africa. I mean, it will eventually mean war with the no. It will eventually mean war with the Ottomans, which isn't great, but well, I'd like to try and moderate my barbarian state's war with success elsewhere. So 
so be as offensive as I can be relative to the needs to fight elsewhere. So, say for example, I wouldn't put all my eggs into you know attacking the Barbary states before trying to secure um, the British Isles, because that's like a, quite a strategic priority there. So we managed to we forced them to come after us. I mean, unfortunately, they've decided to still raid our port. So you guys clear out that galley. Might just keep them sat here. So again, that's going down. Your army's pretty good now. So if I take these guys out. No, they're still... They still really, really don't like it. Why? I just might have to keep them inside. I know Dragoons are good at maintaining public order, but I can't get Dragoons. I keep getting raided, which means I can't do what I want to do. I, I need them to come and attack me while this resistance to foreign occupation goes down. Cuba can't build anything. St. Augustine can't build anything. Try and do some replenishment. Because <laughs> wherever these guys are going, I can't stop them. So I can slow them down, but don't have the money. 2,000 a turn. If they let me get it, yeah, here comes the army. Here comes the attack force. Okay, they're going after Florida as well. So they might get it in that case. But again, nothing I can really do about that. I, it would be foolish, I think, to spend money in the Americas if I could spend it to better secure my position in Europe. Because Europe's where it matters. You know, I can't afford to lose many territories in Europe, and I can't afford to have my port being easily blockaded by Barbary State ships. So the Navy will always be a pretty important strategic priority, but I really, really hope... Yes. Blip. Let's bring your Jebek into our service. Let's fight your light galley. They want peace. I'm going to take it. Because I don't want to spend forever fighting against the damn Barbary States. But I can't fight the pirates because they won't bugger off. But what I can do... What I can do now is take... Okay, you guys can get off of Barbary States watch duty. This galleon and sloop are going to take position outside the port. Let's build a grand opera house in Morocco to help squash their uh, anger a bit more. So if you guys leave now, still down to minus three. God, they really, really, really can't leave. So you're going to raid and really pick away at this ability, this region's ability to make money for me. Can't upgrade any... Oh, alright, okay, hold on. What did I do? What did I build? This. Grand Opera House, no. Drill School. Get that fire by rank. Peace Treaty with the Barbary States. Obviously vineyards in Portugal, good stuff. Coming after Florida. So let's build another frontiersman. Try and hold them off. I don't think we will, though.
I mean, I might just give it to them. I might just offer St. Augustine for money. Because then my army will teleport to Cuba. Or do I give it to the Cherokee? Do I just give it to someone else? No, no alliance. I think the ultimate FU is to give it to someone like... Maybe even... Uh oh, that's not good. Join me, allies. That's really not good. Uh, maybe give it to France. Yes, I'll still be give me an alliance with you, even though you betrayed me. So Turkey, so they're going to be the Ottomans are going to be going for our port. So we need to keep that secure. Okay, we need money fundamentally. Let's trade it for someone for money. The Cherokee will probably go for it. I think, I think the Cherokee will definitely go for it. Okay, yeah, they're just going to raid and be annoying. Um, okay, build the Grand Opera House. Build a sixth rate with what we've got left, because that will shut down our port permanently. So let's get you into port to prevent them from getting any ideas about attacking us. It's just so debilitating. So, the Americas. Diplomacy. Cherokee. Open. Region. Offer. Florida. You have no tech, but I will demand seven grand. Oh. Nope. Um, hmm. The Moogle, they might go for it. Offer Florida. Demand seven grand. Carbines and 20, 20 cash for. A social contract and 20 cash for carbines. No. Regions offer Florida. I need cash, so I really need cash. Let's get three grand. Excellent day. So now you get to fight against that. Oh no, my army's. Oh no, they didn't get to go home. Well, they're going to not fight. They're going to they're going to not fight against Clarence Hutton. Damn, I was hoping. I suppose it's because I'm allied with France. They didn't. They still got. They have right of way. Still, I'll take three grand because three grand allows us to do things. Three grand allows us to build a fifth rate. Oh, it's eighteen hundred to build the mine. First of all, let's stop you from researching any more on that. Go for Spinning Jenny, because in retrospect we do have more um, Weaver-based things. Actually, no, we don't have any UN split. Hmm. Okay, let's upgrade. Hmm. Do I upgrade at all, or do I build... Colonial militia to allow me to better march out and take you out. Because if I march out now, they're minus two. And that's not terrible. Let's go after them. Minus two will become minus one, which should become one once these guys are built. So we've lost trade with the Ottomans, which is pretty devastating. Hello, Crimea. Oh no. Italian states, we're good allies. 600, fine. I'll give you my last remaining cash. Louisiana says no. Mysore says yes. Okay, 36 hundo. Okay, the bandolier, that's my... Okay, it's got them down to minus one, which means we could then take 
One more army unit out to Arturo Costa to chase down the rebels. We can get this stuff prepared, get these guys to chill out, and then maybe send some men to go attack Britain. That would be a good idea. Let's hit end turn. They demand Naples for peace. No. <laughs> but they've not attacked Florida, critically. So our men are still alive. They can't leave because I have I have to challenge them. I have to move within their zone of control. But I don't want to do that because they'll intercept me and I'll have to attack them. And my army's tiny anyway, so that's a recipe for disaster. But what I'll want to do is... Stay, stay there. Stay what I'm doing. If they attack. Because if they move, whatever garrison the French build in Florida might intercept them and I'll be marching to help defend a French fort, which I'm fine with. Italian states have landed. Curious to know what they're going to do. Because it's not my territory anymore. If it was my territory, I'd be afraid they were going to declare on me and also go after Naples. Because you know Naples is very valuable, but I can't afford to have an army sat there garrisoning it when I could have them deployed elsewhere doing other things. Thirty-seven hundred. That's pretty good. So this mine up here is it's average yield. Makes people a bit unhappy. Bill Bow is built in four turns. I, mean, I think I've, I think I might have to go for the industry building upgrades first. But we're going to take new nation arises Saxony, nation destroyed Bavaria. Okay, let's try. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. We filled up our ports. So, you guys. Okay, how many turns is it actually till this is built? One more turn. Okay. You men. Attack the Moroccan rebels. Because until they're brought within. brought under the heel. I don't know why this is actually taking a. Yeah, that was a, took a bit long. Um, I didn't really want to spend money repairing any of the buildings in Morocco until we knock out the rebels because otherwise I'll just run around and dismantle everything and money is very very precious so that's why I was more happy more keen to upgrade my buildings within Spain because at least those I have a bit more control over so advance on a wide front surround and engulf with cavalry because they've got a reasonable amount of troops, but lots of them are quite light troops. I suppose I should actually just walk them forward. They have no artillery, neither do we. Examazons aren't great. Barbary pirates, they're melee infantry, but we've got our armoured pikes. And we have cavalry, which should do a really good job. To a wide front. Can okay, now run. Bring up our cavalry. Actually, my, those cavalry might smash into those Amazons on the flank. I want to focus my firepower in on. Um, I want to focus my firepower against their troops, against their uh, the centre of their line. So they've got the first shots off. You guys are going to knock out the warriors. So then you guys are going to pivot like so. So you guys hit the Barbary pirates. You guys push up to avoid the Barbary pirate combat. The Amazons have been shattered. 
Let's bring our cavalry up, ready to fight these Barbary pirates. Keep attacking them. Make sure they're shattered. They're shattered, but kill a few more of them, and then charge down the Amazons. You men charge the pirates. Pivot the militia. Make sure they're shattered. There they go. Make sure the Desert Warriors are shattered. You guys get involved in the combat here to make sure my cavalry don't die. All of you. Everyone bar my cavalry, although it doesn't look like I can... Oh, it's because I was picking up my pikes there. So let's go hit these militia, desert militia because they're the bigger units. There we go. Attack these traitorous rebels. Don't you know Spain tolerates enclaves such as this? Morocco is our territory. Command of the Straits, I'll have you know. There we go. Take the Desert Warriors. They're going to rout those guys over there. When I say they're going to rout, I mean I know they are routing, but I mean leave the battle. Leave the map. That's what I mean when I say they're going to rout, usually. Ah, that wasn't a close victory. That was a great victory. But there we go. We've done some good stuff. We haven't destroyed the rebels, but... Ooh, we are within range to kill them for good. Great stuff. Because now Morocco is very much positive. Now march up and we can get our dock shipyard repaired. Get all this stuff repaired and get Tangier to start producing. And now we can tax them. I mean, granted, it's only 200 quid or nearly 300 gold. But, I mean, I'll take it. How are we doing on a research perspective? One turn till the next two things are built. Until the next two things are researched. And they still haven't... They've just hunkered down. So I expect they've suddenly really realised they didn't actually want to attack the French. But the Italian states might. But let's hit and turn. Because in one more turn this is built as well. So we can use that to... Um, we can use... So... We're going to have brand new techs finished researching right where we can start to research fire by rank, which will be crazy important. Especially as I don't like it when the Ottomans have declared war on me and I can't see what they're doing. Because it makes me feel like they're up to something. <laughs> but I'm hoping the army I've got in Mysore can... Largely go up against the Brits. Oh, okay, they've landed against the Cherokee. They're not going to win. Oh god, they did. Sweet. <laughs> I'm always up for different things happening in games. I didn't think they'd win because I thought the, they wouldn't have the technology required to uh, stand up against the native factions, but I suppose they did. And I've just twigged why it took... why my game was a bit slow loading those battles. Is I do have a Chrome tab open, which probably is probably consuming more memory than Empire Total War is. Pirates are going to pirate. Port of Pay. But what is that? It's a race built galleon. I could probably take it, but to be honest, it's more important things to focus on. So you're going to go for fire by rank. You're going to go for some of these lower tier techs. So it's important to get this for Cartagena to open up more trade. So now you're done. 
You guys can fully replenish and get back. We can repair the church school to keep Morocco converting, because religious unrest, that sh that'll be quite important to get that down. Okay, let's repair the iron mine over the farm. But soon, actually I might get this militia to just get down to the shipyard to occupy it. So we've got a spinning jenny, turn into spinning mule. So obviously we've stopped you from... Oh no, sorry, you. Ooh, ooh, right, okay. Salamanca, uh, Sevilla, do something else. Salamanca, do five by rank, Sevilla, do... Proved animal husbandry might not be a bad idea. But government by consent is also pretty good. But then again, so is money. Go for improved animal husbandry. Increase the wealth we get from farms and help even out um, population or well, famines. Okay, cool. Not a lot else we can do. So let's hit end turn. Nope. Not going to give you Naples. No siree. Oh, the French have cleared out the Barbary States. I should really build another ship in the Caribbean. Another good ship so that I can take out the uh, the lone pirate vessels that raid my ports and use that to expand my navy. That's the smart thing to do, but I'm dumb, so I didn't think to do that. <laughs> Italian states have taken Savannah. Good on them. Oh, I always hate it when they're, when they're straight lining, it always feels like they're going after me. It always feels so personal when the AI is moving around the map. See, they're going, I know they hate me more than everyone else. Eh, Barbary States will get it. The French will clear them out, even though it's right off my coast. I'm not at war with them. Pirates chasing down. God, that's a big pirate fleet. So, so, so. So let's say I want... Everyone bar my militia. That's possible. They don't mind it too much. So let's buy two colonial line. Get you men to cross. How many turns to Bilbao? Two turns till Bilbao is built. Okay, let's get you up to Porto. Ooh, I can upgrade you as well. No. First order of business, repair stuff in Morocco. See, they're unhappy, but that should get better every turn. So let's spend a bit of cash rebuilding the Jesuit college. Or upgrading the Jesuit college. Let's spend some money. Oh, I want a royal observatory. Let's get the gentleman spawns. Same here, really, in Portugal. New stuff can you recruit? Grenadiers! Marines, Walloon, Line, Irish Regiment, still. I love, I love, love, love the variety. So I'm going to recruit a unit of Grenadiers. And I might build another six, right? Because we there's a risk that we end up fighting the Barbary States again. But I do want this to be a reasonable garrison so that we could do some offensive stuff against the Barbary States if we wanted. So 4200 next turn, so I, by looking at the timer, I think we're going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Spain, where we're probably going to look to get this guy up to Porto and landed, and landed again in, in Dublin, good Catholic country. By then, hopefully, Fire by Rank will be researched, and then we can just clean them out. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next episode.